Next, from Springfield, we talk with former DuPage County Board Chairman Bob Schillerstrom, who is considering a run for the Republican nomination for state treasurer. The current state treasurer, Dan Rutherford, has already announced he will be running for governor in 2014. This runs about 12 minutes. Bob Schillerstrom, thanks for joining us again on the Illinois Channel. And before we start, I'll just mention you're uh, currently a member of the Illinois Channel Advisory Council on our uh, local government affairs committee, so just to get that out of the way. But we wanted to follow up with you because recently uh, you've made a little bit of news that in the wake of uh, State Treasurer Dan Rutherford announcing that he's going to be running for governor, uh, that you've announced that you're at least considering a run for the state treasurer, and we wanted to get your thoughts on uh, wh why is it that you would think of doing that. Well, Terry, thanks for giving me the opportunity. Uh, as you know, Dan is looking at running for governor. The spot is open, and we certainly have plenty of problems in Illinois, and the majority of them are financial or fiscal problems. That's my expertise. As you know, I was the uh, chairman up in DuPage County for three terms, and we ran DuPage County exactly the opposite of how the state has been run. We did simple things like we paid our bills on time, we didn't spend more than we brought in. We lowered taxes on a regular basis. We prioritized services and provided those services. And I want to take a different opinion to Springfield. I, I think that if we bring people down here who have some experience and who have experience working with others, which I do, that we can really talk about solving problems. And the big issue in Illinois is if we don't get our financial house in order, we are going to continue to see businesses leave. We're going to continue to see jobs leave. We're going to continue to see our children and our grandchildren leave. So we really need to put all these other issues aside and focus on solving these fiscal problems. And I, I have something to offer in that area. And I look forward to coming down and, and bringing my opinion to try and solve problems. For those who don't follow what the different offices do. I mean, a shorthand description would be that the state treasurer takes the money that is sitting in the state's accounts and invests it uh, on short-term notes. The state comptroller uh, is the person, uh, the office, I should say, that writes the checks to pay the state's bills. There has been some discussion of combining those offices. Have you given any thought as to where your position would be of combining the treasurer's office with the comptroller's office? My general philosophy is less government is better, especially in Illinois. We have more government than any state in the union, and I am in favor of consolidating the two offices. One of the things that I will talk about is if elected treasurer is eliminating the job of treasurer because we clearly don't need both. It's just another situation in Illinois where we haven't stepped up to solve a problem, to look for ways to, to, to save money. And while it certainly won't solve all of our fiscal problems, it is a solution to, to make an office that spends a substantial amount of money go away each year. So I will work with the comptroller, who I know is also in favor of uh, eliminating uh, one of the offices, to, to consolidate the two offices. I think that's good government and I support it. You know, as we stand here today at the state capitol, uh, no one anticipated, ostensibly, we shouldn't be here. We're here on a special session day. Governor Quinn called to deal with the pension situation. The, the question I would have is, as state treasurer, um, what would be the role, whether the offices are combined or not? I mean, the, the fiscal problems of the state are tied to a variety of things, but certainly pensions is one of the top issues. What can a state treasurer do uh, if the legislature doesn't address the pension funding problem? Obviously, the state treasurer is a constitutional officer. He's imbued with fiscal responsibilities, and I will intend to use the office as a bully pulpit to talk about solving problems. And our biggest problem, I agree, is the pension issue. Until we get that under control, all of the people who are waiting for pensions in this state, they risk not getting those in the future. The state can't pay their bills. We can't address our budget issues. We can't address going forward until we address the pension issue. And the people of Illinois who have worked and who have spent their life planning on having pensions, they need to know 
what's going to be there for them at the end. We have a duty to them, we have a duty to the people of Illinois, and until we solve the pension crisis, we are not living up to our responsibilities. And as treasurer, I will come down and I will talk about, I'll talk with Democrats, I'll talk with Republicans, and I'll talk about solutions. And as we well know, when you look at solving big problems, oftentimes you make everybody mad, but that's one of the things that I think we have to do in this state is make some tough decisions, made tough decisions in the past, and I'm prepared to make them uh, should the people give me the responsibility of being the state treasurer of Illinois. To repeat what you had said earlier, you were the head of the uh, DuPage County Board. DuPage County is the second largest population. I, I would say you had to deal with uh, pension issues on the county level, did we you did. not? We did. What, what experience did you have? What kind of uh, condition is the, are the pensions of the workers of DuPage County, at least when you were uh, running the show? Uh, and and what, it, what lessons, if any, could be applied from your experience at DuPage County on a statewide basis? Well, the DuPage County is a member of the Illinois Municipal Retirement Fund, which is the best funded pension plan in the state of Illinois. And, and I guess that's not a very good standard to go by, but it's funded at about 80%. So when you look at what all the actuaries recommend, it is a well-funded and a well-operating pension plan. And you have to do a few simple things. Uh, we made our payments every single year every single year, and if the projected income returns didn't come in, we paid more. And that's what differentiates us from the state of Illinois. The state of Illinois took pension holidays on a regular basis, and, uh, and we did not. And that goes back to what I said before about I'll bring experiences that I had in DuPage down here, and a lot of ways they're simple things, like make your pension payments, like don't spend more than you bring in prioritize. You can't be all things to all people. And until we do those things in the state of Illinois, we're going to continue to, to drive business and jobs and, and people and opportunity out of the state. Uh, for some period of time now, I forget exactly, what was it a year or two years that you've now been in, uh, working with uh, Ice Miller in Chicago and you've been out of office? Well, I, I, I left office in 2010. I've been with Ice Miller now for about nine years and uh, I, I've, I've been a lawyer for many, many years and uh, so I, I uh, certainly enjoy practicing law with them. Uh, we're a regional law firm with offices in Chicago and DuPage County and in Indiana and uh, uh, I, I've, I've, I've been practicing law for quite a while and, uh, and enjoying it. I, the, the, I guess the point I was going to get at is since leaving office in 2010, I would imagine like anyone, whether you're running a business or uh, the head of a county, you are often faced with uh, short-term decisions, things that come to your desk that you're, you're focusing on. Being out of government, has it given you any more time to reflect and as you hear these issues and, and think about you know, what changes should be made and how we might restructure um, some of the ways that, let's say, that we invest the state's funds in the treasurer's office. Um, people who aren't familiar with pensions, one of the things that helps a pension be funded or not is not just the money coming in, but the money being earned. Typically, the treasurer currently is investing in very short-term, like 24-hour instruments, and, and they earn some interest, but it's not a lot, just like CDs. Should the state be looking at uh, expanding the portfolio that we invest, invest state treasures, uh, treasury funds in to get a higher rate of return? Is that something that you've even reflected on? Well, I, I think the operative word is to look at doing that. Uh, obviously, we have to be a good and responsible steward of the state's funds, and that's the, the most important thing. And obviously, when you do that, you want to reduce your risk. You reduce your risk, and you don't bring in as much income. And I, I think that there is a middle ground, and I, I think one of the things, and, and I've had some experience up doing this in DuPage County, is you, you want to be the good steward, but you want to get as good a return as possible. Possible. That's obviously a, li a line drawing process, and I've had some experience uh, in that particular area. Uh, it, you know, it's a position of trust, so you want to be very, very responsible, and uh, and I will do that. And 
you know, going back to talk about practicing law, one of the things I did was I, I ran a, a small law firm for 20 years before I joined Ice Miller. So I made payroll uh, twice in 20 years, and I, I, I paid all my taxes to the state of Illinois and to the federal government. So I, I'm responsible with the, or, or I'm, I, I have experience dealing with uh, uh, the, the the difficulties that small businesses face in, in Illinois and I think that small business is the backbone of uh, the backbone of this country and uh, they're the people that uh, give people jobs and support families so Illinois has to recognize that and do what they can to to help small businesses and I, I think that's another area that I that I have experience in and can help in before we close out let's go back to your campaign as I understand it right now you have an exploratory committee I think people often look at that as a de facto announce that you're a candidate. But to the extent that you've uh, talked with people before or after announcing the exploratory committee, what kind of reaction have you had? And to what extent have you had a chance as yet to go around the state and meet with some of the different uh, state party chairmen from the counties and all? The, the reaction that I've received has been just tremendous. I have been very gratified by the response that I've received from people all around the state, uh, not only political leaders, but business leaders. Uh, the group, I, I have a very good group that has come together behind me uh, because I think that they believe that I can add value uh, to the state of Illinois and to the constitutional officers. So I, I have people from uh, Denny Hastert, the former Speaker of the House of Representatives, to Lee Daniels, the former Speaker here, uh, people, uh, business leaders like uh, Ron Gidwitz and Greg Bays and Dave Veit, uh, a whole variety of state legislators, mayors, county leaders. So I, I, I'm really excited about the uh, the support that I've received, not just from up north where I'm from, but uh, in central Illinois and southern Illinois. And uh, we've embarked on uh, raising some money, and the response has been very, very good there. So I, I'm, I'm very enthusiastic about the response that I've received and, and very optimistic about my candidacy. Last question, when would you imagine you would make a, an official announcement that in fact you are a candidate and do you anticipate that would be uh, before uh, Republican Day at the State Fair? Well, I think it'll certainly be uh, sometime this summer, and it may very well be before then. Uh, we continue to uh, talk to people all over the state, travel around the state, and uh, I, I'm sure in, in the next month or so that we will be making some decisions as to when the announcement will come. And uh, obviously the state fair is a, it's a big date. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob Shore, so we take, appreciate you taking the time again to talk to you, and good luck uh, in your uh uh, campaign if that's uh, the way it turns out. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate it. You're watching the Illinois Channel, an independent nonprofit corporation form to provide gavel to gavel coverage of Illinois state government and other public affairs events taking place across Illinois.